first thing I'd like to tell you is most business owners I meet, they really don't know what the true profitability of their business is. And that's important because if you're going to sell your business, you really need to know what the true profitability is. Whatever EBITDA, earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization, you are seeing on your financial statements today, there's a higher high likelihood that either your EBITDA is actually lower than that or it's higher than that. Okay, And generally, in many cases, it's much higher. So if you are waiting to sell based on today's EBITDA, your EBITDA may actually be much higher. What we need to do is recast your financials by taking out things that need to be taken out and adding back things that need to be added back to show the buyer the true profitability of your business. And this is called normalization or recasting of financials. So obviously our goal is to make sure that you have the highest amount of EBITDA showing because generally, your, your purchase price is going to be a, a multiple of, uh, of your EBITDA. So now I'm not saying you should go out and rig your financials. That's not my message. My message is let's create an accurate picture of what your real profitability is. How do we do that? We recast it. And so what are we looking at? Uh, first, we are looking at um, lifestyle expenses. I mean, you're a business owner, you took a family vacation. Well, it's got nothing to do with a new buyer and it's not material to the operations of the company, we're going to add it back. Generally, when we are recasting, number one, we're looking to add back any one-time and non-recurring type expenses. Uh, looking to take out incomes and expenses related to any discontinued products. We're looking to add back your depreciation and amortization. We want to normalize your working capital expenditures. We want to see if you had any gain or loss associated with the sale of a business asset that needs to be removed. So uh, once we are done, we get a number that shows the real profitability of your business. And, and that allows you to at that point make a decision if you really want to sell. So my message is recast your financials early. Okay, That's important because you don't want any surprises. If you are already at a point where, well, let's say that you want $5 million for your business and you're thinking when my EBITDA is at a million bucks, we'll go ahead and sell. And your EBITDA today is 700,000. It's entirely possible that you're already at a million dollars. Conversely, it could be that you've reached a million dollars and you go out, I mean, you accept somebody's offer, you're sitting in due diligence and you find out that there's some accounting error and your EBITDA is $200,000 lower. Now you have to make a decision. You've three months into due diligence. You've spent all this money, all this energy. There's all these disruptions and you sort of in this hostage situation. Do I sell? Do I walk away? You know, I'm burnt out. Do not find this out during due diligence. So my message, hire the quality of your financials, hire evaluation, recast early and get a true insight of what the true profitability of your business is and you'll do well. Rare Brand Capital helps companies improve performance and sell for maximum value. How ready is your company to grow or to sell? Want to know how you're doing? Get your free score plus customized report in just a few minutes at no cost or obligation. Visit rarebrain.com score.